Hi guys, welcome back to our live. Uh, so today from the title you can see that I'm going to be doing my 2020 goals. Um, so firstly, Happy New Year to everyone. I hope you're all having a really good 2020 so far. Um, and yeah, a whole new decade as well. Um, so I'm going to dive right into this video. I'm just going to be talking about what my 2020 ambitions and goals are sort of going to be. Um, yeah, I've got about 13, 14 of them. So hopefully I stick to them. One of them I don't think I'll be able to, but <laughs> we will see. So the first one that I want to try and do, I think it's a classic that everyone tries and does in the new year, is not necessarily to like, well, I want to lose weight, but not everyone will do it in the new year to lose weight or they might want to do it to tone or gain muscle or something. Um, but yeah, I would like to try and lose a little bit of weight. I say it every year <laughs> and I just want to try and proper do it this year. Uh, so one of the main reasons I want to do it is because of my confidence, which um, again, I'll talk about in a moment, um, is something that I'm struggling with quite a lot. But I think if I lose weight a little bit, it'll try and give me that confidence I need. I, um, I'm a lot more confident than I would last year. Um, like this time last year, let's say, but like towards the end of the year, I did become a lot more confident, but yeah, I just, I just want to try and just lose a little bit because there's lots of things I want to try and do this year. And just like in general that I just think if I was to lose a bit more weight, I would feel a bit more confident about myself and would be able to achieve them so yeah I'd just like to try and lose it. I'm not going to be one of those people that like probably do like a proper fad diet or like drinking milkshakes or something just like I'm still going to eat what I eat now but like in moderation and in like proportions and stuff like not over overeat or like binge like say so yeah because I don't you know you've only got one life I don't want to um like restrict myself sort of thing so another one is obviously, um, as you all know, me and Jack are hopefully going to be moving in together this year. So I wouldn't really say it's a goal or ambition, but like I'll try and like I'm using it as a goal as of like we are going to like we are sort of thing. Um, another one, another one um, is I want to try and travel a bit more. Like that's one of the reasons why as, as well, like I want to try and lose weight because it's a really it's um it's a bad thing to think, but. You know, when you look around on the Instagrams and they've gone to Thailand or Australia and they're all like sit there on like these amazing beaches and their bikinis and they look flawless. And it's something that I really need to stop like telling myself that I have to be like that to be able to go traveling sort of thing. But I would also like to go like to Australia and, you know, Thailand or wherever and actually take a picture and be like, yeah, I can upload that because I feel confident in it. Like... So not as much to like lose weight so I can be like, yeah, I can be like an Insta girl or something. I just mean so then I can just feel a bit more confident in myself. Um, yeah, and I thought, so I definitely want to travel a bit more. Like me and Jack did want to try and go to Australia this year around Christmas time or like New Year time. But if we are moving this year, it might be a bit hard because, well, we'll have no money. Um, so I think we are going to try and travel a bit more this year, but more, like more smaller trips. Um, because we always tend to like go to Spain and stuff when we go on holiday. So we definitely want to go to Paris and Amsterdam and um, Poland and Dubai and places like that and New York. So I think we're going to try and maybe do like smaller trips this year maybe. Um, or even if it's just like with one small trip at least and you know we've been somewhere and we've like still like travelled to that place. So I'm like I think um, we might try and maybe do New York around Christmas time because it's amazing. I've been there when I was little and Jack really does want to go as well. But if not, I'm happy with just a camping trip. So, um, another thing, like maybe try and get back in the skies. So I'm not flying this year, um, going back, um, just for other reasons. And because if me and Jack are moving, it's going to be quite difficult to move and fly so I'm just sticking at the job I'm doing now or if we do move to Southampton obviously I have to find something up that way um but it just means it's easier for when, for when we move and going back to like um losing weight and confidence so another one is definitely I want to try and be more confident um I'm struggling a lot at the moment with like panic attacks and anxiety I'm not struggling with anxiety as much but like beginning like for example like when I met Jack 
Um, I would never go to a swimming pool, I would never um, go to a beach, I would never like do anything, I'd never wear shorts and when I met him he made me feel so cheesy but he made me feel more confident in myself and he was the first person to take me back to a beach, first person to take me to a public swimming pool, like that was a big deal and um, yeah and so I have a lot to thank for him and in my confidence stuff so my confidence is a lot better like I would, you know, when when I was, you know, like say last year, year before, I would never go to work with no makeup on. I would never go to work like without looking, not like immaculate, but like decent. <laughs> um, but like anyone will see me now and I'll have like my hair up in a bun or no makeup on and I won't really care. Like I've shown you in these videos, like about my <laughs> like no makeup and hair. Um, but yeah, so I, I just want to improve my confidence a bit more because if I was to go traveling, for example, in Australia, I know me and Jack want to do like bungee jumping um or like skydiving or like um those swing drops and I like I always say to myself like oh I need to lose weight I'm not confident enough or I need to weight because you know what if the bungee cord snaps and it's so stupid to think that a bungee cord is going to snap like it's just me in my head and I need to sort it out but I'm dealing with it my confidence is growing so hopefully by the end of this year I can feel a lot more confident and my anxiety is simmered down a lot more <laughs> um I want to also like two things sort of like combined i want to try and have breakfast every day because one i mean that's good for, to help you lose weight because you need to have like your three sustainable meals a day and your breakfast is the most important meal of the day and i'm just never a breakfast person i just never eat breakfast so i want to try and obviously eat breakfast every day um and then like in regards to breakfast i just want to obviously make like try and not like i get up really late anyway but i just want to get up earlier so i can feel more active and you know be more around in the day i guess um like my dad always says to me like oh you can sleep when you're dead which is true <laughs> but i'm just such a sleeper like i just love sleep <laughs> but i think if i definitely was trying to get up a bit more earlier in the day then i can see more of the day then um another one is try and make like more regular like good videos and stuff like i'm getting the hang of like editing and things like that now like i hope everyone is really enjoying the videos and um everyone will follow me in for the new year and so on um so yeah i just i hope everyone's enjoying them um i have said i don't know if this is gonna happen <clears throat> um i have said that i would like to go the whole of january without any chocolates <coughs> now this is a big <coughs> deal because <laughs> it's i mean it's it's not it's not as serious like, you know, it's not as bad but um i was either going to be chocolate or crisps and i just i knew for a fact if it was crisps i would have caved and i would have eaten the crisps like probably within the first three days um but i'm more of like a savory person than a sweet so i think i'll be able to go the whole of january without chocolate so i'm gonna see if i can just go the whole of january without chocolate i was gonna do it in february but then i thought mm, it's my birthday it's my cousin's birthday you know it's valentine's day <laughs> I want some chocolate around then um so I thought I'll go January and see how I do um I want to try and be a bit better with money as well not that I'm really bad with money anyway um like me and Jack are quite good with money um I mean I well yeah Jack's quite good with money um like if he puts his mind to something he'll he'll work at it um so what I mean with money is like I'm really good with saving it but then I always put too much in my savings and I never leave myself for my actual like enough of my accounts and then I always have to take it out so then I'm not technically saving anything so I need to sort of just work out like the balance of like savings and actual like needing for bills and stuff um but that'd be quite good because obviously if me and Jack do move this year I will have like a wake-up call in the sense of I know how to do it if that makes sense um I also want to try and take pic like more pictures and create more like fo photo albums excuse me um I created a, a photo album when I was crew last year and there was just something about flicking through all the photos it was just it just was so good to actually just have them in your hand and just look at them and like pass them around to people you know like my nan she doesn't have social media so when I was like giving it to her and she just like flicking through them like the look on her face and stuff I just like I'm definitely going to be one of those people that have about 50 photo albums of their children when they're babies that's definitely going to be me but I just think there's something about having a photo album. It's just so much nicer than like flicking through your phone. I don't know. And then this is my last one. It's not so much as like a resolution, I suppose. Uh, but like, I want to try and post a picture 
on my Instagram story or like just in general every single day until um well like 31st of December this uh, next yeah this year um yeah when is, yeah this will come out new year so yeah this year <laughs> I want to try and post a picture every single day on my story um so then like at the end of it and put it in a highlights At the end of it, I can flick through and like to see like how I've, how much I've come in that year, if that makes sense. So yeah, this will probably go out in the first week of um, December. So I have, so I have actually gone like three days without chocolate. So that didn't quite happen. Um, I made it to the third of January and I ate cake, and then I went to Casper's, which had Bueno on. So I completely forgot about the whole chocolate thing, but yeah. But from the 4th up until now, which is the 6th, I have actually eaten no chocolate. So I guess I could count one day as okay. And I have posted like three days on Instagram, so I am going well so far. Um, but yeah, so that's my sort of like resolution-y ambition sort of goals. Um, maybe some of them you guys could take with you and go, oh yeah, I could take that one or I could do that. Um, but the main thing is don't set yourself too high of a target. I know that's quite a lot there, but they're not ones that will um, overpower me. I think in a sense, like won't stress me out or make my mental health like worse or anything. So yeah, the main important thing about the new year is I think everyone sets themselves too high of a target um and then they go oh yeah but i've got to keep it up or i can't let other people down or i can't do this and can't do that but everyone needs to remember they need to focus on themselves it's like the main like goal for everyone and resolution should be to look after themselves a bit more and um just feel good in yourselves and not care about what other people think and i know that sounds biased when i'm is that bias when i'm saying that i do it but i'm trying not to but like it really is something that i am working on so i really hope that everyone else can as well um but yeah so that's my 2020 goals and ambitions um i hope they're okay and i hope you have some quite good ones let me know what you have and then maybe i can add them to my list so i'm gonna go now and i'll see you again very soon with another video so see you later bye <laughs>